I'm on holiday in Cornwall and I've still been doing a bit of vintage and antique hunting. We're actually on holiday with a friend who um, loves buying antique and vintage as well. So I've got her haul to show you as well. Welcome, I'm on holiday in Cornwall and I've still been doing a bit of vintage and antique hunting so I'm sure you'd like to see what I bought. Not a huge amount but I'm lucky that we're actually on holiday with a friend who um, loves buying antique and vintage as well so I've got her haul to show you as well. So where should we start? I've got another couple of bowls for my housekeeper's cupboard. These are beautiful birds of paradise, a fabulous colour. So I've got two of those, really happy with those. Those were just a charity shop find. Can't remember, can you remember how much they were? Yeah, a pound each, I think. So very, very happy with those. I shall look forward to using those at home. And this, I don't believe this is vintage. It might be, but um, this is for the pantry when we build our glazed pantry at home. This is a fabulous cheese dome. So um, couldn't resist that. It's got a really lovely marbled sort of effect. Oh, this was a, a fabulous find. We have a new picture for our house. So these are all the colours of our house. It's an original, it's a watercolour, and I am the kind of person that brings my time sample on holiday with me. And as you will see, how fabulous are those two? This is um, a Venetian building by a well-known artist called Tom Jones, of all people. And uh, not really sure where this will be going in the house, but we just loved it. So um, that will be coming home with us. Well, I have to say, I'm not quite sure how that's coming home with us because we came on holiday in my little Citroen C1. So um, that's gonna be a bit of a squeeze getting home. Picked up a few things for my antique website couple of things have actually sold whilst we've been on holiday but um, this is a great cookbook Mrs Lucas's French cookery book so I believe Mrs Lucas came before Julia Child in the States so it's that sort of same type of era and this one was printed in I don't have my glasses on I'll borrow Mark's glasses this one was actually printed in 1930 so lots of interesting recipes there so that is on the website and if you buy a book from me you'll find that um, if anything actually came in the book that I leave the bits in them so um, there's funny little recipes and this one was uh, oh, what's this jelly windmills I think so yeah sometimes if you buy a gardening book or a cookery book from me you'll find that it has bits left in them and I managed to pick up a couple of amazing different shaped Dartmouth pottery vases. I haven't seen either of this shape before. So this is a fleur de lis and that's a very 1970s retro looking one. So those are on my website as well. And there is a link in the description to my website. Anyway, my friend bought far more than I did. So let me show you what she bought. So my friend Jo is the complete opposite to me. She's a speed decorator and she's currently doing up her home. Also, we have a very similar style, but I always refer to her style as the boutique hotel version of my elegantly knackered style. So what I'm showing you, you'll see some similarities in style, but hers is a probably a nicer, more polished look. So let's see what she bought. Now there's some... Um, I've got some footage, which I will show you in a minute, of a fabulous shop in Penzance with a very funny name. It's called Dick the Dog, which we did chuckle about. But uh, um, I'll show you the inside of Dick the Dog in a minute. But anyway, Joe bought these really, really lovely books from there. So she wanted these to just use as accessories in her home and they're really nice they've got beautiful detail and then gold edging so these are just really nice to um, just to leave lying around the home to add a bit of character i have to say i sent her a picture of these they were in the window and i sent her a picture saying you've got to come and look at these books 
and now I actually wish that I'd bought them myself. But anyway, <laughs> I shall enjoy looking at them at Joe's. And um, whilst we're on the subject of books, I knew Joe was looking out for books. And uh, my friend Jo is quite short in height and she's got ginger hair. So when I saw this book, I had to buy it for her. It's called Little Folks Through the Ages. So this was a, just a little joke old book that I bought for her, which I think she took in good humour. It did make us laugh at the time. Right. So let me just show you Dick the Dog and then we'll move on to the next shop. I wasn't with Jo when she bought these, but she just wants little infill pictures. She's trying to build up her painting and art collection. So she's not sure where these are going, but she just picked up a couple of little prints in an antique shop. So I think she'll probably end up getting those reframed because she's not keen on the frame, but I think she said that they cost about £14, so not bad at all for the pair, that is. Now, whilst we're on the subject of art, I spotted this little artist proof and sent her a picture because I knew she was looking for art for her house. She loves this one. So that's a nice little thing great colours for her home. And now there is another beautiful shop in Penzance called Faded Vintage and she's bought a few bits from there too so let's have a look. I haven't seen some of this. Well, this beautiful coffee pot but that's nice always nice with flowers in or just utensils or something so that's a good one. Oh what's this? This thing I didn't even know. Oh yes I forgot about this. This was also from Faded Vintage. Really pretty little picture with pressed flowers in. That's nice. What else has she got? Also from Faded Vintage, she got this little enamel jug. Not quite sure what she's going to use that for. I'd use it for flowers, but I'm sure she'll style that up in her kitchen somewhere. And last but not least, I love this. I spotted this in Faded Vintage and I actually showed Jo because I knew that I wasn't going to buy it. And it's just this lovely Florentine style. I'm assuming it's a jewellery box. That's really nice. 
And I know she said that she didn't have anywhere to keep her jewellery. It's just in a drawer at the moment. So to be fair, if I bought that, that wouldn't be big enough for my jewellery. <laughs> so um, I let her have that one. It's beautiful. So that's um, all our purchases on our holiday in Cornwall. I think you'll agree we've got some nice things there. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. If you're not already subscribed, please remember to do so. I put a link in the description to buy me a coffee. So I'd love it if you bought me a green tea rather than a coffee. And um, I will see you next time. Bye for now.